their trunk to their Honda Civics and then drop this package off on my doorstep. I was just ready to run. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl T. The way I screamed when I saw this package. I had no clue that I was going to be receiving this in the mail. My whole family has been in quarantine and there's not a lot of people in our family. So when a car pulled up to our driveway and left a package, I was just ready to run, okay? Like I was thinking the worst of the worst. I'm not paranoid, but how would you feel if someone showed up at your doorstep with a car that you've never seen before, a license plate that you have no clue whose that is, and on top of it, there was no affiliation to any company. Paranoid. It could have been the mailman, it could have been USPS, it could have been FedEx, but like this was a personal vehicle. You know how like sometimes Amazon will deliver a package through the Amazon car versus the mailman? Someone opened their trunk to their Honda Civics and then dropped this package off on my doorstep. Questionable, but it turned out okay. I'm so excited for this video because I'm going to be unboxing the new Apple MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. And this is definitely an upgrade that I needed because my 2015 MacBook Pro has been dying on me for the past two years. Straight up two days ago, it wouldn't even let me log into my MacBook. That's just the extent of the struggle that I've been going through. Hold up, I'm gonna put this down because this is getting really heavy. It's like an arm workout, whew! Quick PSA, this video is not meant to show off or brag about what I have. For the most part, everything that I own is built up from money that I have earned myself. This, personally, is not a purchase that I made myself. However, I am really grateful and I know that it is a privilege to own things like this. And that's why I want to share this experience, especially because this was gifted to me in hopes that I would make better content and as motivation for me to create even more videos for my followers so that's why i want to share it with you guys i would also like to point out that i'm not a techie girl i'm not here to give you a technological breakdown of what this product does because i don't know myself okay but if you're here to watch a light-hearted unboxing video that's kind of chaotic because i never seem to know how to open things then keep watching this video <laughs> Dysfunctional. <laughs> Sorry. It was at this moment that she knew she thought failure.
didn't I already tell you guys that this is just gonna be chaotic and I'm not gonna know how to open things? I already told you guys, but I really was hoping that I would not mess up during this video. <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself. I literally freaked out, okay? Like, there's no one in my room right now. And then my computer started talking to me and was like, hey, pick a language. And I'm like, wait, why are you on? And I totally ruined the moment, but it's okay. We're gonna move on. I don't have my glasses right now, so we're just gonna wing it, okay? Select English, even though it's already selected. And click the arrow button. Oh, something's happening. Now we're gonna select the US. Continue. Accessibility. Okay, so I just realized that the speakers are now on the side panels and there's like two of them, but that's so cool. Plus a touch bar, which I've never had on a MacBook before. So I'm really excited to see what that does. I'm gonna do this later. I'm kind of debating whether or not I want a new Apple ID and start off fresh. So I'm gonna start with my email and terms and conditions and stuff. Accept, agree. Oh, see, I literally can't read anything right now. <laughs> My vision is so bad. But the shorter one, I can tell, is agree versus disagree. So agree. And then create a computer account. Okay, I'll be back once all this information is done. Then I continue. Analytics. Screen time. I'll do that later. Siri, enable Siri. Sure. Do that. Set up C. Um, I'm just gonna do C. C rating. C show up now. Continue. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! So you get to use Touch ID for a new MacBook. Okay. It's actually set up! <laughs> so this is what my MacBook looks like. It's super, super thin. It's much thinner and lightweight than my old MacBook, but I don't know why when it was in the box, it was just super heavy. Open it up, it looks like that. It's so pretty. I'm in love with the touch bar. Like, I haven't really tested out everything yet. I just think that it's really cool that they have touch ID and the touch bar, plus like the speakers on the side. Like, it's really, really sleek and super pretty. This is what the touch bar looks like. I think you can change the touch bar too, like the things that it does. Oop, oop, see? Okay, so you can do the volume, the brightness, things like that. I kind of want to try the Siri button, so let's go. Hi, Siri. Hello, Tina. <gasps> oh my god, she's alive. I tried to make this as ASMR as possible. I did struggle opening the products a little bit, but in general, I think that this was a super successful unboxing video. I'm so excited to start using my MacBook so that I can plan and create more videos for you guys. So I'm gonna go and set up my MacBook, but if you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, join the Lanies fam. We are an all-inclusive family that spreads positivity and kindness. And yeah, so join the family. Plus, comment down below if I should do a video customizing my MacBook. I do like to keep things simple, but I heard that you can do cool things with the widgets and stuff like that. And I don't have the new iPhone, so widgets to me are just a really new concept. So should I do a customizing video? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, remember you're precious, you're worth it, and you're so, so loved, especially by me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.